Good morning everyone and today we are going to learn about CMOS subjects and in this according to the JNTU syllabus of Telangana I just uh, would like to explain few topics about it and this one is about MOS transistor theory and CMOS processing technology and we'll be covering some of the topics which we according to the chapter wise and when we take about chapter one we are having introduction of vlsi and introduction of mos transistor and goes on so i'll be explaining the basics in the first chapter and then we'll be going to the deep in it and then so in the first thing is what is introduction of cmos vlsi design and what does cmos vlsi means cmos is abbreviated as complementary metal oxide semiconductor in which we are having PMOS and NMOS and the difference of the figure will be as simple that it has a bubble in it for the gate terminal okay and for that which we complement rates complement remains it means at an inverter so it's an inverter so therefore we call it an inverter so basically why we do why we say like CMOS VLSI design so what is VLSI VLSI is means very large scale integration so according to it so according to Moore's law he said that uh, for every 18 to 24 months the double the area of number of transistors are doubled and area is the cheapest decreased I mean he said according to 18 to 24 months the transistors are going to be doubled and the area is going to be reduced of the half so this is thing which he said operating frequency is doubled and supply voltage should be reduced by root 2 okay these are not so much important and so this is the this video is only the basics of uh, CMOS VLSI design I would say only basics and so the main thing is MOS transistor theory this is the basic classification so m transistors that come from the material silicon or something and uh, then we divided into two types which are voltage controlled and diva voltage control and current control so BJTs which are divided into NPN and PNP and for that and current control device which are JFET and MOSFET so again when we go to JFET it's N channel and P channel and when it goes to MOSFET it's enhancement mode and depletion mode so we will be covering this MOSFET this whole MOSFET in VLSI design okay I'll be explaining what is enhancement mode and depletion mode in my next video so for the PMOS and NMOS will be having two different sections for both enhancement mode and the PMOS and NMOS for the depletion mode so the basic thing is and VLSI introduction which there's no need for basic going on it and this is this video is only on the basic type and what is a basic introduction of CMOS VLSI so let's say this is a CMOS transistor the basic transistor so I'll be explaining each and every part and what does it do so these blue color lines are the metals metals are which contacts so I mean that's a contact which happens and this is a gate terminal this is a source and this is a drain as shown in the above figure we'll be having this one as I shown in the above figure like gate source and drain this is the view of it okay and this is a substrate and this is a NMOS transistor why do I say I mean how do you recognize the NMOS transistor when you are using P substrate inside in it and the so called transistor we say it is an NMOS transistor okay and this is an anvil okay, anvil and this is oxide which is called dot and this is polysilicon and these are the basic thing and this is an en enhancement mode NMOS enhancement mode the basic simple to identify whether it's an enhancement or depletion is simple thing is if the figure has a extra layer from here to here like same L I mean well this is the two wells these two wells are connected here like then like this and that figure we say it is an NMOS depletion mode if it is having connecting here 